All right, everybody, welcome in. This is for whoever needs to hear this message. I've been doing these for a while and some of you really, really love them and you keep uh, asking me to do them. So I am definitely doing them. If there's any other ideas that you would like to see me de do, any other kinds of readings, I am gonna be doing more kinds of evergreen topics because I'm noticing, new moon in Virgo, uh, I'm noticing, well, not just Virgo, but um, Jen Huber and I are gonna do a live on the new moon in Virgo. It's a big deal this month on the 14th. Uh, but I am noticing that these uh, these readings are bringing up topics that I want to do more in-depth information about. And I do a lot of that in the Pathfinders, but I feel like some videos would be appropriate. So you'll see more evergreen kinds of videos on topics uh, in the coming weeks and months. Okie doke. All right. So let's see what's going on for whoever needs to hear this message. Who needs to hear this, my darling? <laughs> Okay, air signs, maybe air signs need to hear this, it's possible. Shift and protection, okay. Um, some of you are really good channelers, some of you are really good intuitives. Uh, I feel like some of you need to know that you're leveling up. What's going on here, is we're eating food? Is Charlie eating food? Yes, we are. Um, some of you need to know that you are leveling up and um, protection is gonna be the most important thing. Uh, in case you hadn't realized it, this is gonna be a really important time. Air, ideas coming through, open up your heart, learn to heal your heart. That is what wants to come through as well. But protection, because uh, you're gonna be in a new realm, okay? You may not, you may not have experienced this before. So let's see what's going on. Opening up to your, uh, to your guides, opening up to ascended masters, being able to channel, being able to uh, open up your spiritual gifts in such a way that is going to be, I don't know, bigger, something bigger. We're leveling up. I keep getting that message. So hang on one second here. Let's see one more, please. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up, slow down. Hurry up, slow down. <laughs> a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Hurry up, slow down. Hurry up, slow down. It's like whenever we take a leap of faith, we move from one level of our consciousness to another, and it requires our heart to be aligned with our mind. It requires this kind of alignment. Uh, yeah, there's our heart, right? Here's Taurus, which is Hierophant. Wow. Sagittarian energy of temperance, the two of swords. Eight of Wands, baby, and the Six of Swords. Look at this, moving toward something really powerful. Um, I feel like some of you have either a Sag or a Leo or a Taurus that you need to um, uproot whatever happened with them. All right? Some of you may have had some heartbreak with a Taurus, a Sag, or a Leo, it's really time that you uproot what are what are the things you told yourself what are the things you said to yourself when that devastation that person i don't know why i'm getting devastation but somebody i'm sorry charlie um somebody really hurt you or somebody really uh did a number on you and you took it to heart okay you acted like as if that was you or that was you were um not worthy you deserved it you were some you were buying into a truth uh not a truth buying into a story that someone else told you you bought into it and so if this person broke your heart you may have internalized that you weren't lovable okay if this person was uh, mean or nasty or um or couldn't, couldn't commit or something like that, you told yourself a story that was devastating to you, that was about your inability or your lack, all right? And so now we're gonna uproot that story. We're not gonna have that story anymore. In order to move forward in power, which is the strength card here, you're gonna need to tell yourself a different story. You're just gonna need to do it. So you're showing up as the Knight of Swords here. Let's see if I can do this for you. There we go. Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. 
opportunity as the Eight of Swords, the universe, King of Wands, get cracking, McCracken. How we got here is Empress, Devil Energy. Wow. Seven of Swords. Woo. Okay. All right. This is definitely about facing fears. Uh, this is about your facing your fears. And it, it's rooted in a story that was told to you a long time ago, a lie. It's rooted in a lie. So what you're basically doing is the universe is saying to you, hey, you have places to go. You got to get going. You're shifting and you're leveling up into a new uh, kind of level of consciousness, a new beginning. You cannot stay in this lie anymore. Okay. You can't stay in that lie. So if someone said to you that you're not good enough or you're not worthy or you are um, somehow flawed or if this was a heartache that broke your heart that made you feel like you're unlovable, this whole thing has been what's keeping you still. If you can't break out of this, if you can't, if you are in kind of a, a, a stuck place, this is the reason. Because you have a mindset, you have an idea, a story that was told to you that you bought into. Hook, line, and sinker. You believed it. And now you're freeing yourself from this. And the way to do that is to really walk directly at it. You have to walk directly at the story in order to get what you want. Nine of Cups. You have to take action. King of Wands. Ten of Swords is what's immediately in the future here. And this is about... Um, kind of stick a fork in this, we're done. Eight, eight of Swords is our mindset around this idea. And it was what we believed. I feel like some of you really, um, sorry, I'm going to shut this off. Some of you didn't protect yourself or haven't been protecting yourself when this um, still continues to happen, when you still get you're heartbroken because you're still doing the same pattern. It's because you haven't uprooted the belief system that brings you into that pattern. Okay. Um, this week I'm going to be teaching a class about reprogramming your mind and how to move out of situations that keep us in cul-de-sacs that keep us. It's a very, uh, it's a healing way of being and it allows you to step forward, uh, into your purpose and mission and path. The universe is saying, Hey, you have to level up. You got to get going. And some of you are really st stuck in a place because of an old story, because it's something you believe about yourself that is not true. It's just not true. Okay. Um, how we got here, this Empress. <coughs> Let me see. Okay. So interesting. The Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, we are going back to childhood here. So this has to do with mother energy. This is going to be all sorted out in Libra time. Okay. Uh, Justice, page of pentacles, two of cups, tower, burning this down, six of pentacles so that you can help other people. The universe is kicking you in the ass because you got a mission. You got a purpose here. Why are we dilly dallying with it? No, and I'm not going to say that because this is real. This is loud and this has impeded your growth your ability to be powerful in the world. Why can't I make money? Why can't I have love? Why can't I do the business I want? Why can't I leave this stupid nine to five job? Why can't I, why can't I, why can't I? The fool, which hasn't shown up here yet, but I believe will. The fool is about a leap of faith. And you can only have faith. Faith comes from your heart. Oopsie, don't knock everything over. If you have a broken heart and you hear yourself saying, I don't trust other people, you're not trusting yourself. Because when you trust yourself, who cares who comes around you? You can see it clearly, easily. But if you're stuck in this cul-de-sac, the devil energy, you're stuck in this cul-de-sac of doing the same things over and over again and getting narcissistic partners over and over again, getting toxic situations, saying yes to things that are taking, tearing down our own power. Like you have to confront the subconscious. The subconscious is the thing that's driving you then, right? Your, your unconscious, your 
um, not wanting to see something or, or, or having this happen and then going, nope, that's not me, but never really dealing with it, never really working through the feelings. So the, so the patterns keep coming back around and around and around. And there's this fury about that, this anger about that knight of swords. It's about a mindset and it's about a mindset that has feeling behind it because you think it's true. I am here to shine the light on the fact that it is not true. If it is holding you back from your spiritual mission and your spiritual path, the universe is saying, hey, unhook from this. All right, we're unhooking from this. You have a mission and purpose to help other people to move forward in love, in joy, in hope, in healing, all of these things. This is over. This way of being is over beautiful this way of being is over oh all right we'll get that link is below if you want to continue on with me i'm gonna go deeper into this i'll pull cards for each zodiac sign to give you a little bit of guidance on your own okay all right link is below i'll see you over there all right i hope you enjoyed that video if it was helpful to you please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information and if you like this video check out these videos